So hi guys and welcome to the spotlight. Press the subscribe button and the bell icon also. So in this video, I'm going to be putting my spotlight on two of the fastest things that humans have ever built. The heart of the aviation industry, the aeroplane and the aerospace industry, the rocket propulsion device or rocket. Actually this time, I am going to be talking about their engines, the part that is essentially the most important in the industry. How are they like and how are they different? So let's go. So first let's talk about how are they same. In a nutshell, both the engines work on the Newton's third law of motion. The only way humans ever decided to, to get anywhere was to leave something behind. Both the engines throw out material from the rear which provides them a reactionary force which gives them to go. They have combustion taking place inside their respective combustion chambers which helps them throw out material from their butts, I mean exhausts. The two engines, although very similar, are quite different in the conditions which they are exposed to. A modern turbofan engine takes in air and then the air molecules have two ways to reach the exhaust. One is through the combustion chamber and the other is bypassing it. The air bypassing it reaches the exhaust and is ejected at a high velocity. But the air which is going to the combustion chamber is passed through a series of compressors which then enters the combustion chamber and mixes with the fuel which then explodes sort of and goes towards the exhaust since it is the only low pressure region since we have continuous inflow of air from the intake region. On its way, it hits a set of turbines which are designed in a windshield sort of way such that they take up the air's kinetic energy and rotate. They are connected to the intake propeller by a shaft. So when these rotate, the propeller does too and this cycle goes on. Well, the rocket engine is quite different and the explanation of all the concepts with the mathematical explanation would be an hour long video. And honestly, I am no rocket scientist. So rocket engine is supplied with two types of fluid, the propellant and the oxidizer, which is then mixed and combusted to produce thrust. Both the fluids are stored in a liquid form. And as you know, oxygen is liquid at quite some temperature, <coughs> minus 218 degrees Celsius. <coughs> So inside the atmosphere, it's quite in temperature, but outside the atmosphere, solid solidifies on it. So these two constituents need to get mixed and burned in the combustion chamber at high pressures. To create this pressure, a set of two pumps is used along with a turbine and is called a turbo pump. Now to power this turbine, which actually powers the pump, a gas generator is used, which is actually a smaller combustion chamber. It bypasses some of the propellant and the oxidizer to itself and then the combustion is used to power the turbo pumps which pump the propellant to the combustion chamber which causes the propellant to flow at high speeds to a converging diverging nozzle which increases the speed of the airflow to supersonic speeds. The fuel from the turbo pumps is made to run in contact with the nozzle so as to cause a cooling effect and save work on some of the energy. Now that's what the rocket needs to make it go. I know it might sound a bit confusing, but don't worry. Feel free to rewind the video and watch it again so you can clear it. That's the most important part. 